What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you a demonstration um, and a tutorial on how to shred your jeans. There are a lot of different methods for shredding and destroying denim and this is just one of them. So if you guys like it, maybe I'll do a few more. There's just a lot of different techniques and it's all pretty easy and easy to follow. So we're going to start off with our jeans and as you can see I have already shredded um, like halfway down one leg and I also started doing the back a little bit and it looks like this up close and like this in the front so I haven't washed these yet um, after I started shredding them but once I do wash them they will kind of shred themselves a little bit more if that makes sense in the washing machine and the dryer so it'll give them more of like a old worn vintagey kind of look um, I'm just going to kind of go further down on the leg that I already have started on so you can get an idea. And it's super simple. Uh, the way that jean material is made is basically two sets of threads, one that goes vertically and one that goes horizontally. And that pretty much composes the entire fabric of jeans. Um, if you're using a traditional pair of blue jeans, that are obviously blue, then most of the time you'll be able to distinguish between um, the two sets of threads because they'll be different colors. So the vertical ones might be darker or lighter um, depending, um, but you'll be able to differentiate between the two sets of threads, which tends to make it easier, but since I'm using a pair of um, white, they're like off-white, kind of grayish white jeans, there really is no difference. These are actually Levi's. They are super low 524 jeans. So I really like the way these fit. Um, they're like skinny jeans and most of the time Levi's are not long enough for me and these are. So it's pretty cool. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So we're gonna start off by making a couple cuts down the jeans and the way that I like to make um, these cuts is kind of by folding my jeans like this and I just like to align the side seams like so so I can ensure that they're going to be even so once I've aligned the seams I just kind of go down with my scissors and make a couple cuts. It really doesn't matter like depending on you know how you want your jeans to look or you know fit it's whatever. I, I like to kind of vary it. Um, and so as you can see, these are the cuts that I've made. They're like an inch apart, less than that. It's really better to vary them. And you can probably kind of see, you can see the bigger cuts that I've made, um, kind of. And you can see that I just kind of varied them all the way down because I don't want it to be completely consistent. So these are the cuts that I just made and what we're going to do is we're going to take our tweezers and we're going to go into the first kind of incision and in order for this method to work you need to have at least two um, incisions in your jeans. So if you just have one cut you're not going to be able to remove the threads because they're still going to be holding on to the rest of your jeans. So you need to have a portion of jean that's completely separated you know, severed from your pants. So what we're going to go in and do is we're going to take our tweezers and we're just going to kind of find a thread. Sometimes it's it's hard to find one of the first threads. As you can see, I just got one. And you really just want to pull it out like that. And it's obviously like the same length as the section that you're working on. And you're really just going to go down that row and pull out all the little threads. And once I get a few more out, you'll start seeing um, how it kind of unravels, unravels and creates like a little area of distressing like that. Sometimes it's hard to get more than one at a time, but um, it's really... It's a good idea to do this if you're like watching a movie or watching TV or like listening to music. It goes by like a lot faster. So like you can see, I'm just pulling these vertical threads completely out. Like this. 
and you can kind of see the area that it's starting to become distressed. And once you've done um, a little bit of your section, it's just going to get a lot easier. You can kind of start to pull out the threads and separate them, and it's just going to make it a lot easier to grab. If some of the horizontal threads kind of like break or rip or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Your jeans aren't going to come, you know, completely unraveled. It's, it's not a big deal, and it will just, you know, further add to the kind of vintage worn look that we are trying to create. And I have like a pile of threads that I'm just like accumulating to my right. And if you didn't exactly kind of get the gist of what I was doing, we're just taking vertical threads and pulling them out. And that's just going to create the area that we want. And then, of course, you know, you don't have to go all the way over. Some sections you can leave a little bit smaller, and some you can do a little bit larger. Um, and like I said, once you wash these um, and dry them, they're going to get that worn look, and they're going to actually look a lot better. So, yes, they will hold up in the washing machine. I usually wash my jeans inside out on a cold cycle, but you don't even need to wash them, like, on gentle or anything. They'll be fine. Jeans are heavy duty even when they're distressed. And, you know, you can move on to the next one. Again, like if you want to see how I kind of got started, you really just need to find that one first thread. And you can kind of like pull the jeans apart a little bit with your tweezers to kind of get in there and pull your thread out. Yeah, once you get that first one, it's a lot easier. And if you want to go back in when you're finished and just kind of like stick your fingers through the holes and kind of mess with them and just stress them a little bit more with your fingers or even like your tweezers or you could use your scissors, you can also do that as well. So there's a small section that I've just completed and really after that you can just kind of um, go down the length of your jeans. You obviously don't have to distress them to this extent. You can pretty much do whatever you want. And it's going to look really cute when it's finished. So this is just one method for shredding your jeans um, at home. So I hope you guys were easily able to follow this. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the description box below. So thanks to everyone who requested this tutorial, and I'll talk to you guys soon.